On October 6th, a small cap stock called GT Advanced Technologies, they make sapphire glass used for things like the coming uh, iWatch, uh, well, it declared bankruptcy. The stock lost, I don't know, 93% of its value. Uh, huge, huge story. Apparently some problem with Apple in terms of, of uh, contract and supply and some problem in the factories, all that. So they filed for Chapter 11. What's really interesting to me, important to me, important to you, even if you're not an investor in Apple or GT Technologies, uh, G-A-T-T -T is the symbol, um, is what this really, you know, one of the things that's happening right now is people are trying to figure out where in the uh, supply network the profit is. So if you look at a company like General Motors or Ford uh, and look at their expectations for growth, there's not a whole lot of growth in, in the end producers. If you were looking for growth and profitability in the auto industry, you might look for companies like Borg Warner or Continental that are supplying the new technologies that are where cars or where car companies are sort of competing right now, and there the margins are actually growing. If you've got technology, you might even get bought out. Um, so that's one story. In the case of Apple, you know, you had a lot of people piling into GT tech. Uh, advanced technologies because hey they're an apple supplier you've got um you know the sapphire glass coming uh, but again this really emphasizes the problem that you have that the end users the apples and the gms of the world are trying to cut costs out of their supply chain so they're being very very rigorous about who they deal with and what standards these companies have to make and if you're a small company you can of course really leverage yourself on apple but on the other hand, if you disappoint Apple, you get smashed, and that's exactly what happened. So I think you need to be very, very careful. I think the, the place to be putting your money right now is not in the end companies. It's not in the General Motors and the Fords um, and the Apples and the Samsungs. It's in the companies that are supplying them because that's where the profit is. If you can find somebody who's got a hot technology that these companies want and the ability to deliver it, that's the key thing, then I think that's where you ought to be looking. Um, but at the moment, um, it's a very, very tough row to hoe um, because small caps are getting hammered. So I sit back a little bit, try to figure out where you want to go with suppliers to an Apple or a GM uh, and look for some of those stocks as bargains in the rest of October. This is Jim Juback for Juback Asset Management Video.